<laughs> David here with DIY Mountain Bike. We're going to talk about cone wrenches. What are they and what do you use them for? So close-ups in a second. But the most common size cone wrench for a bike is 15 and 17. Two different sizes. So older bikes used a different basically bearing set and with those bearing sets it's kind of finicky to adjust the tension on them correctly you can make them too loose real wobbly or you can make it too tight and it wouldn't turn as well on those bearings but they have cone wrenches to make some narrow nuts to reduce the width of your front wheel hub or the rear wheel hub but let's get into some little tricks that I've learned over the years for adjusting your bearings with some cone wrenches. Before we jump into my little trick on cone wrenches and adjusting your bearings, check out the link in the description. Go into in-depth article about cone wrenches and using those on your bikes. Thanks. So if you've ever tried to adjust the bearings on your bike, you'll know that these inside nuts there's a set on both sides can be finicky okay one of the big tricks to adjusting this is to actually keep it in the bike all right you can easily adjust this in a bike all you need to do is loosen your axle nut and then go in and only on one side loosen and tighten your bearing nuts themselves okay this one here is the one that actually goes in and interfaces with the bearing so it's called the inner race so step one loosen your axle nut right after that get your two cone wrenches the thing about cone wrenches they're really thin these are not pedal wrenches a pedal wrench will be a lot thicker okay and will not fit as well Plus, you're gonna probably mess up your wrench if you use it on your pedals. 17 and a 15, if you can see that, 17 and 15. So the 15 is the inside, 17 is the outside, which is our locking, right? Turn it just a little bit and then I'll lock it, right? And then manipulate your inner nut, your race, your inner race nut to the tension you want without messing anything up good place to be is just a little bit of tension and back off. Now with that cone wrench in place, tighten your locking nut. Give it a little turn, make sure everything's good. And then tighten up your axle. Nice and smooth. That's how you use your cone wrenches. Subscribe. 